Right. I thought death had cured me of my appetite, but damn if I can't stop thinking about the smell of tear stew. Awakened a fair few culinary cravings, did. Black pudding, haggis and neeps. Oh, porridge and honey. What about you, brother? Any pre-fimble winter foods you're aching for? Olives. What the hell's an olive? Certain the trace could not still be in Midgard. I was just there and found no trace. If Odin invited him, he must have provided a way. No, that is not the only explanation. Tell me where we find these Norns. I discovered some of their threads near the frozen lake. I stashed one for spellcrafting, but we may also use it to find them. Just remember, they really don't want to be found. Well, at least things will be difficult for a change. What is this path? Oh, just one of the many insane things we had to do to get to your name. You jumped? We were protected. Evidently. We should take your sled and head to the lake. Midgard. How I've missed the freezing gusts and constant radar attacks. Oh, that's because they believe Kratos is responsible for Fimble Winter and that killing him will end it. Where would they get an idea like that? From me, of course. Of course. We should get down to the wolves, brother. Quiet. She is a friend. Now. Better they get this from you. Once the wolves have the scent of the Norns, we'll just need to follow their lead. Mm. I will open the gate. <laughs> Stop whining. Their fur is matted. When did you last brush them? They are wolves. And matted fur leads to disease. Take care of them and they'll take care of you. Brother, what exactly do you intend to ask the Norns? How I may blame my son. Nothing more. You don't imagine it's a chance to clear up all this mess about prophecy. Perhaps get a second opinion on your alleged demise. You didn't tell me you had a death prophecy? When Atreus and I reached Jotunheim, we found a hidden mural. The giants, Faye herself, had foreseen our entire journey long ago. Who we would meet, who we would fight, all of it, as it happened. But you aren't dead. That image was from a time yet to come. I see. You've never struck me as someone who fears death. That's not a problem, is it? No. Death can have me when it earns me. Then maybe it's not the future that bothers you. Faye sent you on your journey, and she made sure you'd see that image at the end of it. And you're still not sure why. I wish to speak of this no further.
now that we are on the lake, how will we find the Norns? Watch the wolves closely. See how their heads point the way? Well, the Lake of Nine has certainly seen better days. Raiders have made themselves quite at home. Not sure I've been back to these parts since our great battle with Seekrin. She speaks highly of that fight as well. You know of that. She told me all about it when she found me. She believed you could be an ally. Long before I believed it. The Valkyrie Queen. An ally. I'm the Valkyrie Queen. As Sigrun was stubbornly determined to remind me. I should have guessed it was Sigrun helping you recover yourself. She's so loyal. Wise. Clever. Tall. for the death of her family, and has been haphazardly wreaking her vengeance on anything within arm's reach. Even death didn't stop her. I know. Thread of fate we are tracing, but we will continue another time. You were asking about the thread we're tracking. The Norns use it to mark their way when they're outside of the well. The Norns live in a well. No. The well of Earth, their home is... hard to explain. It's in no fixed place. Entrances come and go. A place wholly under their influence, where the intangible becomes tangible. Like... being inside your own mind. But if we go in together... Are we in each other's minds? Not so sure I like the sound of that. Right, 
brother. I'm sure your sense of smell is nothing to be underestimated. But if you still mean to find the norms, we'd best let the wolves guide us. Mamiya, have you encountered these norms? Not personally. Clay is right. They have ways of discouraging visitation. Odin made his share of efforts. Wouldn't talk about what he found. Either he gave up, or he wanted to forget what he saw. Freya, do you mind telling us what you experienced when you sought the Norns last time? To be honest, the details are hazy. Like waking up from a dream. Mainly, I remember that nothing could be done to change my son's fate. Which only made me more determined to try. Brother, what of your story? You faced the fates of your homeland, yeah? The legends I heard about the ghost of Sparta were surely exaggerated. Exaggerated? Oh, not in the brazen bloodshed righteous fury part. The part where it said you traveled back in time itself to win a battle once lost. It strains credulity, obviously. Bold. The wolves are distracted. Kratos. A raider in temple. Shall we take care of them, brother? That's all of them. These were coal raiders. Infants. Wolves. Atreus and I rescued ours from such an encampment. That was... Kind of you. The coal raiders have been a blight on this land. The way they've abused its creatures. Perhaps we should do something about them. Perhaps. Up to you, yeah. brother. If the Norns know the future, no doubt they'll expect us to show up a bit late. Yeah.
As I was saying, tales of time travel always strain ah! credulity. I mean, a rumor about Thor knocking the world serpent back in history from Ragnarok is one thing. It is the truth. 
The threats of fate span all life and time. The sisters of fate abused their power. When I challenged them, they threatened to undo my existence. So I killed them and turned their power on Zeus. That's the most dangerous and irresponsible thing I've ever heard. These Norns have no such magic, nor does anyone in these realms that I've ever seen. Aye, can you imagine? If it existed, Odin would have it. And if Odin had it, we'd be five shades more fucked than we are already. Hold! What is that? Isn't that the spear from Tyr's statue? Wish for peace. Be ready for war. Oh, that's astute of the elves. Tyr never sought war, but he knew he had to be ready for it. Aye, best be armed than not. Impressive looking weapon, isn't it? It is big. walking of course but if we use your sled your wolves could follow the scent of the norns and take us to them isn't that why we're out here is that a frost troll he won't be happy to see us Finding the norms is not about altering events, yeah? Wait, the wolves cannot focus. Another coal raider can. Kratos, we should do something about them.
Why do they whine? Poor things. They can smell more danger. Uh, the wolves fear that which can no longer hurt them. The horrors of our past can be inextricable from the present. You have to understand that. So to be clear, finding the norms is not about altering events, yeah? I would not ask them to change the past, even if they could. I only want information. And that's quite dangerous enough, in my experience. Back to your story, Freya. You granted an audience to Hrimthur after he finished building Asgard's wall. What a long last. Did he whisper to you? Well, he said the Aesir had killed his father, and he needed to know that one day they would. I pointed out I was Aesir now, too, technically. He gave me a look, as if he somehow knew better. Not now. <laughs> He once survived a giant corpse to a stop a certain fight we won't talk about. Could you call on that power again? Maybe. Do you have a massive giant's corpse for me to revive? Uh, no. Well, there you go. Be quiet. I just hope the norms are somewhere indoors. I'm warm. Safe to say, no, I have not missed Midgard in Thimblewinter. Thank you. <laughs> we will see soon enough. <laughs> <laughs>